Welcome to Inside the Deal. I'm Suzanne Stevens. With me today is Eric Fisher. He's a partner in the law firm of Butzel Long. Eric, we're here to talk about hedge funds, and they're becoming increasingly important players in bankruptcy court. Um, what's driving that? Well, I think that the credit crisis that we're all living through right now uh, comes on the tails of an extraordinary proliferation of credit. Um, and as a result, uh, in, for example, 2006, 2007, um, hedge funds became uh, lenders to troubled companies to an unprecedented extent. And what we're seeing now um, uh, in, the, in the wake of the credit crisis is the unraveling of that and hedge funds trying to protect uh, positions that they had acquired in, in, much, in a much healthier credit environment. Can you give an example of a hedge fund uh, in bankruptcy and, and how it's operated through that? Sure. Uh, in the Delphi case, you had a government-backed hedge fund that was um, the stocking horse bidder that was set to acquire Delphi. Uh, and ultimately, the transaction went to Delphi's pre-petition secured lenders, which was a consortium of other hedge funds. So I think that just illustrates the point. You have hedge funds on every side of it. And in Delphi, you see a real activist investor strategy um, being employed by the hedge funds. The hedge funds there wanted control of the company. Um, in other environments, you'll find um, hedge funds with a much more passive strategy. All they want to do is trade out of their position. The role that the hedge funds played in the big auto bankruptcies, um, GM and Chrysler, hedge funds came out of that uh, with their reputation a bit damaged. Um, how has that affected the way that they're responding now, the way that they're uh, putting their face out there for the public? Well, I think uh, in the Chrysler bankruptcy in particular, there are some real cautionary lessons for hedge funds. I think the Obama administration succeeded uh, in portraying um, the group of dissident hedge funds in the Chrysler bankruptcy as investors who were just focused on short-term speculation uh, and not focused on uh, the long-term rehabilitation of the auto industry. And that really hurt them. Uh, that image was just something that stuck with them. And as a result, uh, even though it was a group of secured lenders, I think they got much less in that bankruptcy than you would typically see a secured lender um, realize. Are you seeing hedge funds doing some damage control? Or are, they, are they out there trying to repair their image? And if so, how? Well, I just think hedge funds have gotten more savvy uh, and will, I'm sure, continue to get more savvy um, about how to present themselves in bankruptcy court. It is important to think about how they're perceived in the bankruptcy court and to think about what the values of the bankruptcy court and the bankruptcy judges are and to frame uh, their own positions in a way that recognizes uh, this different culture within which they now need to function and speaks to that. Eric Fisher with Butts Along. Thanks for coming in. My pleasure. I'm Suzanne Stevens. Thanks for watching Inside the Deal.